Hey guys, I'm here today to do a lip swatch video for you. I am so excited because I have the Milani um, Amore Metallics, Metallics, Matted. Okay, I don't know how to say this. Anyway, it's a lip cream, and they are the Metallic Liquid Lipsticks from Milani. I got a bunch of shades. I got one, two, three, four, five, six shades. I think there is eight shades in total. There was two shades that I just did not like that I did not purchase. So let's see. Um, I also got a free moisture lock oil infused lip treatment with my purchase because I, er I ordered it in a, um, a time frame where they had the, um, the lip, uh, the lip treatment for free. So with the like $15 purchase, I spent way over that on these. I think these range for $8.99 a piece. I will leave the link down to Milani's website below to where you can purchase these. And um, I'm not sure. I know certain places have started carrying these like CVS, etc. However, I have not seen them at any of mine. So I went ahead and ordered them online the first day that they were available because I did not want to wait. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches. I'm excited about this one. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. so the first one that I'm going to swatch for you guys is the lightest shade. We're going to try and go from like lightest to darkest. Um, okay, so the first shade that I see here is the shade called Chromatic Addict. And it is a really pretty, like, gold, like, champagne-y, gold, beautiful color. I should have brought something to cut this with. Actually, I think I might have something here. Hopefully these small scissors will work. Oh, yeah. Works a lot better than my teeth do. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. Super excited for these. I really can't wait. So I'm going to go ahead and look into my mirror over here and apply them for you. The doe foot's really nice. It's like a slant. So it's like slanted like where your lips. Ooh, these smell so good. This color is like very 90s, like posh spice. You know, this just reminds me of like the Spice Girls for some reason. Ooh, it smells so good. And they're very comfortable on the lips so far. So this is the first shade. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is very intense. I believe I've seen a couple swatch videos on this one, and I believe this one is supposed to be the most metallic out of all of them. I just liked it for the color. So let me close, do a close up here. This is what the color looks like. And actually they dry very quickly. It's actually almost dry. Already dry. How crazy is that? That was a couple seconds and it was dry. So that's really cool. Um, you know what? I hope I have a makeup removing wipe. Oh no. I don't. Shit. See, you know, I used to carry my makeup removing wipes over here. Hmm. Well, you know what? Give me one second, you guys. I will be right back. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was a brief, a brief interruption there. Sorry about that. Like I said, I did not come prepared. Apparently, I I've never done a lip swatch video before. Actually, I think I have, but I had like my makeup removing wipes here ready. Today I didn't. So. Oh wow. These are actually not that easy to get off, to be honest. 
So you know the staying power is going to be pretty good. So, whew. all right, so that was the first one. Um, the second one that I see here is called Materialistic, and this is like a rose gold brown shade. Sorry, you have to sit here through all my like opening and stuff. I wish I knew how to like edit videos. I'm working on it. I'm going to try and learn. I don't know how. Oh, this color is gorgeous. I love the smell of these. The smell of these is very strong. It's a very strong um, like vanilla cupcake smell. Oh, yeah. This color is actually really wearable, I think. These are going to be cool for, um, like, if you do, like, something cool for Halloween, these are going to be really cool. This is the close-up of Materialistic. I believe that's what it's called. Let me look again. Yeah, materialistic, materialistic. That is number two. And the first one that I did was number one, Chromatic Addict. Yay. All right, so let's move on. Okay, just want to dry my lips off a little bit. So this next one is really pretty. This is called Cinematic, and this one is a really pretty color. Let's see, what, I would, what would I call this? I guess I would say this is like a really gorgeous pink. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. This shade, oh my god. And the smell of these is better than the Amore Matte Lip Creams. That's a little less intense. This one is very, very intense smell-wise. Like, it's crazy. Oh my god, it smells so good. They apply really evenly, too, which I like. And I love the Dofa because it's slanted, so it fits perfectly for your lips. And I love the packaging. It's gorgeous. Oh, this color is like the most perfect rose you would ever see in your life. So there's that one. Oh, it's number four. Cinematic. Okay, the next shade that I'm going to do is this one. This is more of like an orangey shade. I don't think I meant to get this one. I think actually I didn't want to get this one for some reason. I have it. I don't know, but this is number three, Matte About You. And this is a orangey shade. It's actually really pretty though. i kind of scared. It almost looks like an orange red because I'm not really a fan of orange or red on me. However, this one, I the lip swatches that I saw were gorgeous, so. Oh, you know what? I actually like this. It's such a, it's a wearable color. Like, it's not. It's not scary. Yeah, and, and just one thin layer is really good for this. It's just so pretty. So I'm trying to remember what color I did not get. Um, I think the only one that I did not, oh my God, I have a bugger on my nose. Are you serious? That's embarrassing. <laughs> um, I think the only one that I did not get is the red shade because I'm not a fan of red at all. That one stained my lips a little bit. 
I can't believe I have a booger up my nose. <laughs> anyway, the next shade is called number seven, Automatic Touch. This one I'm super excited about because it is like a fuchsia purple. It is very unique to any type of lipstick, like liquid lipstick that I've seen. Um, well, maybe I wouldn't say that, but it, of course the metallic part makes it very unique. Um, I think that this is more of like a, like a orchid color. It just reminds me of like a really pretty orchid. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh my God. And the formula of this one is like velvet on the lips. It feels so good. Oh my goodness. I think this one's gonna stain. Oh yeah. Ooh, girl. Obviously this one hasn't dried yet. So they do dry to a matte finish, if you guys were wondering, but I just haven't let it dry yet. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. That'd be embarrassing. Okay, and the last one that I have to share with you guys is the shade Raving Matte. And this is number eight, and it is a deep purple shade. Um, this one is definitely darker than the last one, but it's, um, I'd say this one is, it doesn't have any pink in it. The other one did for sure. And I think you'll be able to tell on the lips. Definitely. Ooh. See, this one reminds me of, like, a grape color, actually. Oh, yeah. I didn't do this one perfect. Um, I think if you're good at applying liquid lipsticks, you won't need a lip liner unless you want one. It's up to you. And that is the last one of everything. Um, this one, this lip oil is clear. I will just show you a swatch on my hand. The, sh the scent that I got for free um, I think these run around 6 to $8, depending on where you purchase these from. This one is in number three, Peach Seed Oil. And I thought I got, okay, no, I'm sorry. Rejuvenating Peach Mango. I was going to say I'm pretty sure I got the mango one. Oh, God, that smells so good. I have two of these. I have the grapeseed oil one and the raspberry seed oil one, and I do like them. Um, they are not my favorite. They are a little sticky, but I think for the price, if you're looking for a cheap lip treatment, I think they're good. Um, I wouldn't say they like moisturize my lips like a, a chapstick would, but I do think they're. Ooh, I do think they're good for dry lips. This is the swatch. It's very clear, just a clear, and it has really rejuvenating scent. Um, so I would say if you are in the market for something that has a decent price point, um, and that smells really good and you don't have to pay like $60 cause I've seen lip oils that are like $60, which is absolutely ridiculous. Then I would definitely go for this. Um, and the packaging is really cute too. So anyway, you can't go wrong. So let me just do one more close up. This is fully dry on the lips. You don't see anything. And this last shade, again, is Ravishing That, in case you guys were wondering. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.